Bake.com just launched their new AI feature, making it easier for you guys to use AI in your workflows without the need for third-party tools. Let me show you how it works. Starting off with Analyze Sentiment, this evaluates the tone of any text and determines whether it's positive, neutral, or negative. And then you can use this information for further processing in your workflow to route it down certain paths. For example, if you receive a feedback ticket or an email, you can pass that response into this AI to analyze. And then depending on the sentiment, you can notify your team if it was positive feedback or neutral, or if it was negative so that your team can get right on it and fix any issues that need to be resolved. Next, we've got categorized text right here. This one analyzes any text that you throw in and assigns it a category that you define. So by defining our categories, general inquiry, returns, order tracking, positive feedback, complaints, we could pass in some sample text. Let's go ahead and run this once and see what it outputs. So the sample text was, can you provide more information about your return policy for online purchases? blah, blah, blah. And then it got back to us and categorized it into two categories. It falls under the general inquiries and returns. Next, we've got identify language, and this is very self-explanatory. It just identifies what language the text is. Run it once. This is our sample text right here and an output with Spanish. Next, this is probably one of my favorites where we are extracting information from text. So you're throwing in any text, maybe from an email, from a customer inquiry, and then you're defining what you want extracted from that text. So for example, this is our sample text. Hi, this is Alex Johnson. I placed an order number one, two, three, four, five on November 25th, 2024, but I haven't received a shipping confirmation yet. Could you provide an update on the status? And we want to extract the customer's name, the order number, the purchase date, and a summary of the inquiry. So we hit okay, we run this module once, and let's see what it outputs. So we passed in just text that isn't structured or formatted. And then the AI extracted all those pieces of information and put them in their own variables. This makes it easy for us to map into our workflow later down the line, all of those different variables into their respective fields. So we've got name, Alex Johnson, we've got the order number right there, we've got the purchase date right there, and then we've got a summary of the inquiry. This is super useful because now I don't have to come up with this super complex prompt with OpenAI, with ChatGPT, to parse out and extract pieces of information, put it into a JSON format, and then use the JSON parse to parse out the response from OpenAI. This module does all of that in one go. And then we've got the rest of these right here, standardized text. This adjusts the style and format of text to ensure it's consistent. We've got summarized text, that's very self-explanatory. We've got translate text, again, self-explanatory. And then chunk text, which I'm still not sure what I would use this for, but it basically splits text into smaller, more manageable pieces. Probably used for something like if you just have massive amounts of data that you just need to chunk up or segment into smaller pieces for further processing. I don't know. So again, this is Make AI Tools. It's currently in a closed beta and I just got access to this this morning. And this is all part of Make.com's efforts to simplify the use of AI in your workflows by getting rid of the need for complex prompts and having to set up additional AI accounts with third-party tools such as OpenAI or Claude or whatever you use. They haven't publicly announced when this is going to be available for all Make.com users or any usage limits with this tool. But as always, I'll keep you guys posted. If I'm showing up on your feed for the first time, my name is Mason, I love make.com, I love AI, I love automation. So be sure to follow me for more AI and automation tips. Thanks guys.